Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. I'm Michael Carruth with Newton Crouch. This video is to talk about troubleshooting a PWM valve, a pulse width modulating valve. This is a Raven 660 and I've got it run to a converter, just plugging it into the wall, converting electricity from AC to DC. We use the 15 gallon per minute PWM valve to drive the bed chain and the rate controller is sending a signal to the PWM valve. Hydraulic fluid goes through the PWM valve which goes back to a hydraulic motor on a gearbox that's connected to our rear roller shaft to drive the bed chain. So this is our Raven 15 gallon per minute PWM valve and we have customers from time to time call and say I think I have everything set up correctly but my bed chain is not moving. This happens a lot of times at the first of the season when they first get the truck out and start using it and if we know we got everything set up right and the bed chain is not moving we make sure that we have hydraulic fluid coming from the pump and when hydraulic fluid comes to the pump it comes to this PWM valve, this pulse width modulating valve and one trick we've learned is sometimes you'll have corrosion underneath this solenoid so you take the solenoid off and make sure it's clean underneath there but there's a plastic nut and then a washer underneath the plastic nut you don't want to lose your washer so just make just make sure that you know that it's there and you don't want to lose it and then this solenoid will slide off the stem uh, sometimes we found that fertilizers gotten here or some type something's got here that's corroded it and you can take a uh, shop rag with some penetrating fluid on it or WD-40 and wipe this down and get it clean again because that corrosion what it does is it keeps it from um, drawing the plunger up inside this stem when you're sending voltage to this solenoid so that needs to be clean in there so check that first and make sure that it's clean if it's not clean clean it and then reassemble the solenoid on the stem by putting a solenoid on putting your gasket o-ring back on and then screwing down the um, collar that holds that on there and just get it good and finger tight that's all you need to do and then you can check and see if your bed chain moves again another tip we've learned about getting these PWM valves to work correctly or to find out if they're working correctly is that you can send 12 volts directly to this PWM valve using your pickup truck battery and the way you would do that is you would disconnect the flow cable from the PWM valve and then you would just get a jumper wire that would come from your vehicle battery straight to this two prong trailer plug and when you put 12 volts to it it energizes this solenoid and it causes that plunger to be raised up and oil goes past goes through this valve because the plunger is raised up so putting 12 volts to it opens it wide open taking away the 12 volts closes it and it doesn't matter about the polarity of it you just you know your positive wire could be here and your negative wire could be there or vice versa you just take 12 volts and send it to this and it energizes this solenoid and opens it wide open take the 12 volts away and it closes it if you have your hydraulics engaged when you send the 12 volts to it it opens this valve and your bed chain will start running if the PWM valve is working correctly this is a procedure on how to test that the correct voltage is coming from your controller to operate the PWM valve they recommend that you check this voltage to the PWM valve under a load and the reason they want you to do it under a load is because it takes amps or electricity to work this plunger inside this valve so when you do it under a load it's um, taking into account the voltage that's being needed to work this valve 
if you don't do it under a load you might not have the correct voltage but to be able to do this test you get your get your voltmeter you put it on DC and then since they want us to do it under a load or what Raven recommends us doing under load you take one lead and you stick it in the two prong trailer connection or the flat connection on one pin and you stick the other lead on the other side and what I did was I just opened this connection enough to be able to get my leads stuck in and then I push it back together good and tight so then you go to your rate controller and you put it in the manual position it's in manual and then you turn on your master switch and you'll see voltage show up on your voltmeter so I'm going to set this down and I'm going to turn my master switch off again and I'll have no voltage there so it goes to zero when I turn the master switch off so flip the master switch on you have voltage and then you can use your increase and decrease to simulate sending voltage to this valve and when I hold my increase up I'll have more voltage on my voltmeter so I hold my increase up and the voltage starts climbing and it'll go all the way up to approximately 12. Um, the more voltage it has the more oil's going through that valve and this way you can tell if the controllers correct you know if it's not working this way it went up to 11.4 but a lot of times when you have them hooked up to a truck and the engines running and all it'll get up to you know 12 volts and then I hold my decrease down and my voltage starts dropping so what's happening is that plunger inside that valve is closing so this is the way that you tell if the problem is on the controller side if um, this is working correctly if you're holding the increase up and you're gaining voltage you're holding the decrease down you're decreasing voltage then the controller is working the way it's supposed to it's working correctly this is the manual override of a PWM valve to do the manual override of a PWM valve this acorn nut on the top has to come off and when you take the acorn nut off it reveals a screwdriver slot in the top of this threaded stem but there's a lock nut or a lock yeah, nut down here and you want to back that lock nut off some and then you're able to stick your screwdriver in this slot and you can turn this threaded stem counterclockwise screw it out to decrease the amount of oil through the valve clockwise to screw it in to increase oil flow going through the valve and this is helpful if you're troubleshooting your PWM valve and you want to make sure that you have hydraulics coming from the pump if you do the manual override you can manually loosen this nut to screw it out and more oil or oil goes through the valve to turn your rear roller technical assistance is available online 24 7 on our youtube channel or our website newtoncrouch.com you can call us at 800-241-1350 monday to friday and speak with a real person no recorded messages our knowledgeable staff will be glad to assist you. Proudly, Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.